meet me down here because there's been a new development with Diego. Things are moving a lot faster than we thought. Great, what's up? I feel good about it, you know. I feel, I feel like it's, it's a good thing, it's really good. What, did he say something, something we can use? No, not yet, but I'm sure that he will very soon, I, especially now. Why? Why? What's, what's happening? Well, see, I had to get him to trust me, and I think that I've done that. We're getting very close. Lily, what have you done? I already told my mother and Mike about it, and they're not very happy, but I wanted to tell you first so you could hear it from me. Lily! I know it's going to sound like I'm losing control here, but I think I can handle it. Well, would you just get to the point? I told Diego that I would marry him. You did what? I didn't have any choice. Are you out of your mind? Lily, what were you thinking? Marco, he was packing his bags to leave. He was going to leave town. I had to keep him here. Well, not that way. Marco, if he leaves Oakdale, he will never pay for what he did to Damien. If he can walk free and clear, he will never pay. And Damien will still be dead. I had to stop him. But not by putting your life in this kind of danger, no. no I had to. I had to. These words just kept coming out of my mouth. I couldn't stop it. God, you've gone too far. Too far. No, you were the one. You told me. You told me I had to keep him here in town. No, I didn't. So the FBI, no, I didn't. I didn't tell you they were supposed to walk him. down the aisle with this madman. You just call him and tell them that, that you've changed your mind. No, I can't. Yes, you can. can't do yes, that. you can. No, I have to get a confession out That's of That's not your job! Damn it! Margo, now that he thinks we're going to be married, he's, he's letting his guard down, you know? He's, he's beginning to just talk and say things. Things are just coming out of his mouth. Oh, it's not supposed to happen like this. Margo, he said to me that he was going to tell me everything about his past. And I know if we play our cards right, we're just going to get out of him what we need. You're just going to get yourself killed, Lily. I can handle it. No, you can't. You're a civilian. San Germano could handle this. And he's a dead man now. Just what the hell do you think that Diego is going to do when he finds out that you tried to trick him? No, he's not going to hurt me. He's not, because he loves me. Yes, yes. This is a man who sabotaged a plane with four people on it. This is the man who killed Damien. He didn't give it a second thought. He could have killed all of us. No, you don't. You don't know anything. You don't know what it was like. You don't know what it was like on that plane. I didn't see those eyes. Those eyes. Did you see those eyes? Mother. Those eyes. Mother. Those eyes. Mother. And then Danny, get to a chair. Get to a chair. Get to the chair. Get to the chair. No, it's not the sound. It's not the sound. It's the pilot. I can't hear it. Oh, Don't be afraid. Okay. It's okay. Oh, my God. Oh, Lily. Did, did I, um... No, you just got scared. It's okay. It's okay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. I'm Don't sorry. Don't. It's okay. Listen, do you want to go to my mother's house and lie down for a while? No. No, I think I just, I just need to sit here for a minute. Just a minute here. Okay. You want me to get you something? No. Uh-uh, no. I'm fine. Of course, I'm lying to you, obviously. There's a couple of qualifiers in that. What just happened to you? Margot? Um, after the plane crashed, the doctors told me that I developed a really nasty little psychological tick. It's called post-traumatic stress syndrome, and um, basically it means that um, I have these flashbacks of the crash, and you got to witness one right now, you lucky girl. I'm sorry. You haven't even been living like this since the plane crash? Um, that was over a year ago, Margo. Uh, yeah, well, they, they oh, had stopped after a couple of months, and I thought that I was over it, but... Um, uh, lately, it seems that they've come back again. Is this from working with me on this case? No, Lily, no. no. Don't think that. I no. am the one that dragged no. you back into this. It's bringing back all these memories for you. Margo, why don't you just drop it? Just back off. Oh, that's a great try. But, Lily, these episodes aren't going to stop even if I drop the case. You know, whatever is triggered is already kicked in. And... Have you seen the doctor? Yeah. Yeah, and apparently I'm going to be seeing her again. But, Lily, the best therapy for me is to nail the man who calls himself Diego Santana. Oh, Lily, you know 
how much I want to help you, but I mean, when you tell me that you're going to marry Diego, that just scares the hell out of me. It'll pay off. I promise you, he believes in me now. And what is he going to do when he finds out he's wrong? Hopefully we'll have the confession by then. Marco, he is on the verge of telling me now. He wants to. I can tell. I can feel it. All right. Marco, you just said the only thing that's going to help is getting Diego Santana, and that's what I want to do. I want to do that. I need to do that. We've got two problems. The first one is, even if you do get Diego to spill, we're going to need so much more than your word for it, Marty. What do we have to do? Well, that's the second problem. I can't help you. What? Why not? You just said you would help me. It's a legality. I'm an officer of the law. I can't help you. If I do, it's entrapment. What does that mean? It means Kirk all over again. Any evidence you do, Garner, will be rendered inadmissible. What about, I don't know, um, couldn't you authorize me to wear a wire or something? I can record everything that Diego says. Really, it would be so tricky, even if I got a warrant and you were a confidential informant. It's going to involve the department. It's going to involve the FBI. No! See, look, oh, the FBI is going to scare Diego off! Well, I'm sorry, but that is absolutely all I can suggest to you. Legally. Are you saying that I can do whatever I want to as long as you don't know about it? Exactly. What if I wear a wire on my own? I would never suggest that you do that, but if you do that on your own, it could prove to cooperate your testimony. I could do that. You know, I could get a, I get a hold of a, a wire. I could I talk to my, the people that do security for my mother, but if I do get a hold of something like that, I need it to be checked out. I could never do that for you. Ow. But somebody once left a piece of equipment just like that on my doorstep. I have no idea who that person was. But naturally, I brought it in and I checked it over before I had to turn it in. To the police department? Yes, that's what I have to do. But I lost it. Somebody took it. I don't know who took it. I think I left it somewhere public. A restaurant. You know, I'm forgetting things all the time. Are you? Oh, yeah, I lose everything. You know, um... We're having an engagement party at the Falcon Club. I would love for you and Tom to join us. We'll definitely be there. I lost my purse once in the Falcon Club. Powder room. I think it was the second stall. It's amazing how things work out. God, Lily, I don't know. Oh, Marco, please. I, I promise everything's going to be okay. I will get the confession. I will do it by the book. Yes, it was what happens before that that bothers me. I will be careful. I promise you. Lily, he loves you now. When he finds out that you don't love him, what's going to happen, Lily? Lily, I just don't think you realize how serious this could be. All I know is I have to do it. There you are. Uh, Margo. Hi. I'm fancy meeting you here. Oh, Mother. Well, it's only been an hour. You haven't harassed me. You're slipping. Oh, well, now, uh, uh, <clears throat> has she been filling you in on her plans, Margot, to marry Jack the Ripper? Yes, yeah, she's told me about marrying Jack the Ripper. I was trying to convince her not to. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. But, of course, she wouldn't have to. It would be moot if the police or the FBI had just arrested him long ago. Absolutely, Lucinda. Well, good. I'm glad you agree. As it is, though, she has to go out and sacrifice herself and bring him in single-handed. Darling, we know why you're doing this. Because I want to? No, because you're frustrated because the police have come up with nothing and haven't done anything. They I haven't the reason why away. the police haven't come up with anything is because they don't have anything against him. And the reason why I'm marrying him is because I love him. Please don't say that to me. I said you don't want to. I said just you're lying, darling. Don't say that to me. You're not fooling anybody. I'm not trying to, Mother. Look me in the eye. Look me in the eye and tell me that you love him the way you love Damien. Or in this table, you tell me you love him as much as you love Holden. Answer my question about Holden. Diego is the first man who put my needs before his own. He is the most sensitive person I've ever met, and he makes me happy. Who wouldn't love a man like that? You're not answering my question. No, I'm sorry. I, I'm just tired of it. I don't want to fight about this. Lily, I think you know why your mother's upset. She's just going to have to deal with it. I'm sorry. Uh, we're having a party. We're having an engagement party at the Falcon Club and tomorrow night, and you are invited to go. Lily. Margo and Tom are going to be there as well. Answer my question about Holden. Answer it. I love Diego more than I loved Damien or Holden. 
Are you satisfied now? No. I'm so scared for you. I'm sorry, Mother, you're not going to stop me. Talking time is over. I'm sorry. she's saying she's just playing games she's just collecting evidence she thinks that she can go through with it all are you sure that's all she's doing what do you 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 think it's possible that she could love that man yeah lucinda she sounded pretty convincing to me what makes you think that she doesn't oh lily says that she loves him more than she ever loved holden and i know she's lying <laughs> 